Hey and welcome back to Toby's Real Skills with Toby. It's me. In today's video we'll talk about the Victron Venus OS upgrade to 3.01. Thanks for watching again. This video will just focus on upgrading and what's new in the new version um, Victron just announced on July 17th. And as you can see here I'm sharing the change log, what they, or release notes, whatever you want to call them, what they announced recently. And here in this section, as you can see, those are the changes. Especially they have some changes for the Ekranos, which is the new device, which I haven't seen yet in real, but um, can't wait to get my hands on it. A um, couple other things, feel free to pause and read through it. Um, the last one, fixed canvas timing issue for Raspberry Pi hats. So this one as well has some impact on the Raspberry Pi, it looks like, the Venus OS on there. So I think that's pretty good, as well as there were some bug fixing uh, for the VRM for syncing or registering with the VRM portal. Everything else, feel free to read. We'll focus on upgrading on my two Raspberry Pis. I have one Raspberry Pi 3 B plus and I have a Raspberry Pi 4 B. I don't think there's a plus. And we'll do it first on the one which does not have anything connected to it. The reason for that, just think about it, it's kind of a staging, it's a UAT and it will proceed to the production system. So the first thing you need to do, figure out the IP address. Because I'm just doing it remotely, if you just want to do it on your device, because you have the touch screen, the touch display right in front of you, feel free to use that as well. If not, I will use my, the IP address of those two devices, both are on and online, I checked already. If you know the IP address, great, just type it into the browser. If not look here really quick you can if you have registered to the VRM portal online just log in then you see all the installation on the left side and then you have two, two devices I want to start with the Raspberry Pi 4 you can click on it you see there's literally nothing connected except for two thermostats and one um, processor temperature so you can just go into the remote console open it and click through and see what's the IP address in your Wi-Fi or Ethernet so that's one pretty simple way to do that. Or you have to connect to your router and check what's the IP address. Regardless of this, so I have it, so I'll do the reconnect here. Next, th next thing we'll do, we'll just do the normal easy uh, firmware update. So I'll go to settings, go to firmware. I can see right now I have the firmware 3.0. And now we wanna go to online updates. We can see auto update, check only. So it did already check. I have here the latest release version. I have an image type, just a normal image, not a large, so you can see it here. And I'll wanna do it, I wanna do a double check, check for updates. So I'll double click on here again. In the meantime, I'll drink in your Toby's house latte, video up there, how it works, in case you wanna, you know, check it out. So we can see, update available. We'll just, you know, we'll just continue with the update. Hit enter and wait. Oh, firmware installed, rebooting. All right, let's give it a couple seconds. In the meantime, while waiting, there is a Raspberry Pi locator at the moment. I saw there were a couple um, Raspberry Pis selling for $55 plus shipping and tax. Might be something for you. I don't know. Um, I think that's around, I paid around that price plus shipping was about $70 or something which I paid for a Raspberry Pi 4. Still cheaper than the ones on Amazon for 100 and whatnot. And maybe you want to check it out. Raspberry, Raspberry Pi locator. Up, oh, and we are back online. Oh, almost. Let's see. Let's see if the setup helps us doing some work or not. It's back online, nice. And I still have the Raspberry Pi processor temperature here. That's great. And I also have the two wires, which are the, the extra temperature. Uh, thermostats on connected to it as well via the bus system. Other video, up there. Nice. So let's double check firmware. All right, let's do online update again. Check again. Oh, sorry. Check for updates. No newer version available. Nice. All right. This looks pretty good. Nice. This one, let's see, going settings. I'm gonna go all the way down to package manager. Okay, I get the packages. Okay. 
I think everything which was active on this part is activated again. As mentioned, this is just the test version. There's nothing big to it. Let's check the VRM portal really quick before we go ahead. And it looks like a few seconds ago, I'll do a refresh. And I can see it was a few seconds ago, a few seconds ago. So there's it's syncing, it works so far, so that's good. There's not more connected to this little unit as of now. That means we'll proceed with the Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. That means this one. To di differentiate it, I set it to dark mode. So we can see there's more connected. There's a propane tank, there's the Raspberry Pi processor temperature as well. We have a smart chunk connected and we have a solar charge controller. Yeah, that's all. Nothing else. We'll do the same. Settings. Fumer. Well, actually, we'll go back one time. We go to the package manager. So I do not have connected the relay board at the moment. Just be aware of that in case you have the relay board connected and you want to upgrade, you should have installed the package and you should have, you know, use, as we discussed in one of those videos, you should use the GPIO list, which will be persistent and after upgrading will still be there and reinstall everything. So I don't have that, so I apologize for that, but I can see dark mode so it works. Yeah, it works okay here. You can see it's a little difficult to read black on black or black on dark gray. Uh, GUI mod, setup helper, GPO setup is not installed, correct? Yeah, those two are not installed. All right, that's fine with me. Go back here really quick, but you see the Raspberry Pi processor temperature is installed through a different package. So, all right, settings, go to firmware, we'll go to online update. We will, perfect. Check only. Um, image type, by the way, this one is large on here. Uh, I'll do check again. Just want to see the latest version. It's still 3.01. Let's just install it. Huh? Since it's a large image, it might be might take a little longer than the other one. We'll see. Firmware installed. Rebooting. Let's try again if we can reconnect. Up oh, there we are. Let's wait a little bit. Because when settings is on a bottom, up oh, there you go. When settings on a, is on a bottom, it means the setup helper is not installed or the GUI mod is not installed correct at the moment. Let's wait and see. Up, oh, I guess now it's installing the GUI mods at least. Thanks again to Kevin for this amazing setup helper. I think right now we can see what's happening or if it's happening. Let's see if I can reconnect already. Up. Oh, nope, that was not it. We do have everything in here in terms of Raspberry Pi processor. We have the propane tank. We have smart charger in my uh, smart charger, smart solar charger. Sorry, they actually connected via uh, USB connection. Oh, by the way, there's something coming out pretty soon which will um, talk about how many of those USB connections you can do on a different way. Pretty cool. Pretty cool extension I found. All right, let's double check with settings. Let's go all the way to package manager. Let's see, active packages, what's going on? GUI mod. GUI mod is not installed anymore. I do not know why. Okay, for whatever reason, the GUI mod is not installed. Let's go check. When you go to page, you can see it's a normal view. So um, I do not know why it did not install this. Maybe because of some testing I was doing. I'm manually installing this now. Package manager. But <clears throat> it did install the shutdown monitor. It did install the Venus temperature. That's good. Everything here in between, um, I did not install. So yeah, the GUI mod is the only one which did not install properly. I'll install it now manually. Oh, GUI mod's file set incomplete. All right, we'll remove it really quick.
Maybe I was playing around too much with that. Oops. Still reconnect. Oh, there we are. And it got the dark mode settings back in. That's what I want to see. Oh, there we are. Good. I think it looks good. Cool mode is installed. Not sure why it wasn't able to install it correctly, but it said something that didn't find some packages or packages incomplete. So I manually had to uh, uninstall and install again. Maybe that wasn't, there was some kind of issues when I played around with it much. But anything else, let's double check real quick again. Up, oh, we have the latest, newest version installed. One last time, we'll check for our solar generator T-Box. And it says it's real time and updated, yeah, a minute ago. Good. Let's do a check here really quick. Minute ago. Alrighty. There we have it. Um, I did not have more connections to it. Um, please let me know in the comments below if there's any any issues you encountering you having with upgrading online, or if you maybe do a totally different way on upgrading to the latest version. Let me know. I hope this was helpful. The release notes also are in the description below. Let me know if you like those kind of videos. Please feel free to like the video, of course, and subscribe to the channel. It would help me a lot to know if you like that stuff in general. So thanks again for watching. See you next time. Tschüss.